Hey everybody, it's Gail with Giving Back with Gail and this is the first recording of my new vlog. Yay! <laughs> I am super excited. Um, I am just excited uh, for an opportunity to have another way to stay connected with this really amazing community that we've created together. And so as I sat back and I thought about what should the first vlog be about, I thought it was probably a good idea to kind of reintroduce myself because, um, you know, the thing is you kind of do things day in, day out, and you don't necessarily um, get a chance to be like, oh, by the way, this is who I am to people who are new and um, to, new to the blog, new to Instagram, new to the Facebook site, and new to the website. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to reintroduce myself. Well introduce myself <laughs> again and also I'm going to talk about how to stay inspired when you have a purpose as big as I do because it can be amazing and it's also a little overwhelming but I have ways that I stay inspired and I'm going to share those with you. So um, my name is Gail, Gail Anderson and I started giving back with Gail roughly two and a half years ago. And I'd had a different iteration of a giving group um, on Facebook that started off with the really good intention, but never really grew. And so um, there was a point where I realized that it wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be. And so I let it go. And it was um, a bittersweet day. But I think that sometimes when the door closes, it's really waiting for you to open another one. And I think by closing that one, it gave me the energy and... Um, the reminder that giving back with Gail was sitting there and what I really wanted to pursue and put out in the world. And so right after that, I, I had a friend uh, whose name is Hind, who I'm sure will hopefully be watching this. And she and her son were volunteering at Skid Row and they created a banner that said giving back with Gail. And I'm a big believer in signs and a big believer that all things come together and work out for a good. And so I was like, yes, it's time to make that jump. And so I did. So I created the website, I started the Instagram page, and I just was just ready for what was next, you know? And my own, the only reason behind um, Giving Back with Gail was for it to be a place to inspire people to be of service. Because I know that I'm here to be a beneficial presence on the planet. I know that I am here to give back, and I'm here to help change the world. And so my goal with Giving Back with Gail and with all the things that I do is to be a reminder of what's possible, right? I think far too often we sit back and we think, oh, there's all this bad in the world and this and that. But when we see what's possible, we're reminded of the good that's going on and reminded of our power to make our own change. And I truly believe that we, together, can change the world through service. And so I decided, you know what? Let's not just talk to talk, let's walk the walk. So I created the website, I created the Instagram page, and I just really put my heart and soul into it because I realized that the moment that we stop thinking about ourselves and think about other people is when real change happens. And um, there's this really magical place in service and volunteering and in giving back where you don't think about you at all. You think about someone else, right? And you look at every time I go and I volunteer, there are people in need. There are different races, different ages, it's across the board. And so what I am reminded of is that volunteering and giving back is a real reminder of our humanity and how much, um, a, a reminder of how much more we are alike than we are different. And so giving back with Gail for me is a daily reminder for the world to the power that you have to inspire others and to change the world through service. So I created that and um, it's been an amazing two years, I have to say. From the moment I started the Instagram page, because that was the first thing that I did, um, and then secondly, the website and the blog and the Facebook group um, page, rather, and Twitter, which doesn't get a lot of love, I'll be honest with you, so I've got to get better with that. Um, it has been just a, a heart opening of a community, and I don't know how else to say that. It's literally been people just saying yes. To, to the good that I, I'm wanting to spread and then also reflecting that good back to me and the service that they're doing. I mean, the very first like month that I got onto Instagram, one of the wonderful Instagram pages, um, Scarves for Warmth, actually reached out to me and recommended a book that has changed my life. You know, it's a children's book. It's called What Do You Do With An Idea? And that book 
I like, I'm, I kid you not. <laughs> I sat in my house and I read that book from cover to cover. It's only like 20 pages. Again, it's a children's book. And I was just blown away by its simplicity, but also by its power. You know, it's basically like how not to give up on an idea because you may not know what it, what it, what it's, where it's going to go. You don't know like the end point, but you've got to nurture it. You've got to don't listen to naysayers, all that stuff. Just take, take that idea and nurture it and make it and love it and, and just spread it out in the world. And that's literally what I was thinking about when I was making Give Back with Gail. So this book was such a affirmation that I was on the right path. So I'm always, always, always grateful for that. And then I reached out and um, Brenda, a volunteer to serve and give, reached out to me and she and I are like kindred spirits in terms of service and giving back. And then another um, page on behalf of Dean has been such a wonderful, central, supportive part uh, of me just getting a day-to-day -day -day reminder of the good that's on the planet. And there are other organizations and pages right now that I'm forgetting but just know that I'm going to, I'm going to tag them under this video because they are the ones that inspire me. So speaking of which I told you how I remind you how to stay inspired when you've got a really big purpose. I think that sometimes it's easy to feel overwhelmed because I do, right? It's, it's a lot to think about like, how can I inspire the world to change through service? But what I do when I have my moments of doubt or I'm not sure or if my purpose feels just a little too big is I lean on other people's purposes, you know? And so the three people that I mentioned right now previously, the Instagram pages that I love and I feel supported by, I lean on them when I'm feeling like I can't, I'm not quite sure if I want to post that day or, you know, I look at the metrics of my blog and I'm like, nobody really read it or I'm feeling, I'm in my feelings. I go and I go to their page, right? So I go and I see that on behalf of Dean, it's got a little library um, that they've started outside their home and people are sending in books. I see they've got the cards they send out when people are doing good and they can honor their brother. I go to um, Brenda's page, Volunteer to Serve and Give, and I see the amazing things that she's doing in North Carolina. I mean, she is helping her population, her, the homeless population in so many ways between like food service and now she's got a whole other level thing that she's actually going to be talking about more on her page. So make sure to follow her that's um, helping with doing laundry for the homeless and helping them get build resumes. She is just a powerhouse of good. And she reminds me that it's okay to hear no and keep on going. So I'm, I'm, I'm personally working on that. And Scars from Warmth, which is the very first page that reached out to me, just reminds me that uh, I'm going to get a little emotional because... Just so you know, that's who I am. I'm, I'm a sensitive soul. Her reaching out to me to tell me about the book was my first reminder that I wasn't doing it alone. It's easy to set up an Instagram page. It's easy to do all these things and think it's just you, but it's not. And I, we have created this wonderful community of good that fills me up so much every single day. So I'm so, so grateful. So when you're sitting back and you're like, I've got this great big purpose and I know I want to do more and I want to give back and I want to help change the world. But today really kicked me in the butt. I get it. I totally get it. Take that moment. Go reach out to that person who inspires you. Read a quote, read a book, go to their Instagram page, their Facebook page, lean in to what they're giving so that you can get a little bit more support and find, the, and find your footing so that you can go on the next day and keep living your purpose. So this is my very first blog, vlog. Ah, I should start learning how to say it. Vlog. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about that. <laughs> I'm going to keep going because it doesn't be perfect to be you know, powerful. So I, this is my first vlog and I'm putting out there for you guys. It's just a I'm telling you of who I am or reminding you of the wonderful people that are inspiring me. Again, they'll be, um, I'm going to actually connect with them and post them below the video tag them rather. Um, and just, I hope to be a wonderful space for you every single week. I'm going to come up with the new ways, um, new stories, new avenues, um, to connect you with giving back and remind you the power that you have. Because I think that's really what it's all about. It's reminding you that you have the power to change the world through service. I do it. You can do it. The world, people are doing it all over the place. We just need more of it. Because with it comes love and kindness and joy. And we're going to just uh, get a more and more of our humanity back. Because I think we definitely, definitely need it right now. So that's why I'm here. That's why your vlog, the vlog is here. 
I do have a call to action for you though. This time next week, I would love to get more videos. I have a segment called Why I Give Back Wednesdays. All I'm asking is that you send a 60 second video that explains to me why you give back. Do you like to volunteer? Do you like to give back in your organization, in your neighborhood? 60 seconds, I'll post it on my Why I Give Back Wednesdays. Also, I'm gonna post our Feel Good Story of the Week. There's a link below as well because I love the idea of sharing good stories because good begets more good. And of course, follow the people that I'm gonna tag below and I'm actually gonna work on this video and see if I can tag them and put them in the video. So we'll see how that goes. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this far. I am living my life's purpose. I'm here to be a beneficial presence on the planet and give back. And I'm so excited about this community. I can't wait to see it grow. I can't see, wait to see more and more good. I have big plans to give back with Gail. I want to speak at schools talking about volunteering. I want to um, have uh, workshops for nonprofits because I know what it takes to retain volunteers. I want to write books and travel the world and really talk to people about like explore and champion the, the um this the idea of giving back and and service so that's why i'm here ah first vlog so excited i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you're inspired by it and if you are please comment below and t let me know i am here to serve and i'm really grateful to be part of this community and i'm grateful that you're here have a wonderful day and i'll see you here next week the new vlog every tuesday that's a commitment I'm making to myself and to you because we can do it. Together we can change the world. See you next week.